This is the plaintiff, Charles Gregg. He says he was hired by the defendant to book a music event with live artists, and the guy gave him only half the money he was promised to promote the event. The artists were quite mad the night of the event because they weren't paid, and if it weren't for him intervening, the cheapskate would have been duct taped by the angry mob that night. Bottom line, he still owed $5,000 for the event and is suing for just that today. This is the defendant, Craig Hilton. He says the artists were told if they didn't show up for the event on time, they would not be paid in full for their services. Sure enough, many of them arrived to the show late. He told the plaintiff he didn't want them to perform because they didn't live up to their contractual obligations. The plaintiff ignored him, and that's why he doesn't owe anything more than the $9,225 he's already paid. He's accused of being out of tune. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $5,000 for harassment. All parties, please, you're ready. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Charles Gregg and Blue Ninja Media Incorporated and Clear Storm Media Group Incorporated. You're representing? Yes. Uh, you're suing Craig Hilton and Global Funding Solutions and you're representing your firm for $5,000 that you say is still owed for an event that you put on for him. You have a counterclaim against him for $5,000 for harassment. What's going on? Um, through a mutual friend, I was introduced to him by, uh, close to the end of the, uh, end of the summer. He, he wanted to put on an event. He wanted to promote an event for any artist that can actually, um, I don't know, just, he just wanted to promote an event. With a concert. Artist. A concert. He with wanted. a bunch of different bands. Right, exactly. Just, artists. Just, just, artists. All right, and why? How does? How are you qualified to put that together? Um, my company, Blue Ninja Media Group, as as, as well as Clearstone Media Group, throughout the past ten years, I've booked major artists, hip hop artists. So, so we can move forward. is there anything in writing between the two of you about what everybody's duties and obligations would be? Um, everything is via via email. Okay. And Do you uh, have the emails? Yes, yes, yes. Let me see the emails. Sure. Also, this is the uh, fly of the event. So, were you in charge of promoting the event I too? That's my company. We promote. We book. And uh, we promote According to him, the 15 That's people it. showed up. Excuse me? According to him, 15 people showed up. Well, Is that accurate? Like it was a pretty <laughs> That's bad not turnout? Accurate at all. It's not accurate at all. But, How many know. people showed up? Um, well over probably 50 people. Was, but that was low, right? Because, I mean, there were more people in the band. The thing is, he wanted to promote this event in a month. I told him, I said, listen, usually it takes you about three to five months to get any Who type of traction. Who knows what they're doing in five months? I mean, why would anybody so, plan their so, stuff five months in advance? And also I let him know that, you know what, you're taking a risk. So regardless of it, I let him know up front. This, since let you're me, doing let me month, see the, the emails. These are emails. Let um, me see the emails first. Sorry. Okay. Okay, this is not emails between you and him. This is emails between you and the artists, right? This first mean? one? That's between, emails between, he's, he's CC'd on ours because we made, a, we made an agreement to have the artists become between 12.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., which all artists showed up to perform. That's a fact. Okay, what is this about? According to you, you told them if an artist shows up late, they don't get paid? Yes, I was informed by Mr. Gregg that at 12.30 is what time the show was to begin. And okay. I do have an email that states from him to the artist that anybody who wasn't there at the beginning of the show will forfeit their other half of the deposit. The show was scheduled to start at 12.30 p.m. Some of the people who were there, and I did pay those people. 12.30 a.m. But... 12.30 in midnight. Yeah, right well, 12, yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. And, um, you know, most of the, some uh, people showed up, and I did pay them. You had a few headliners uh, like Fresher, uh, Truell, and uh, Head Ice who showed up approximately 2 o'clock. And I didn't want to pay them. Obviously, like I said, like you said, ma'am. Okay, just 50 a second. People so did they, co did they go on? Pardon me? Did they perform? They performed. I told uh, Charles that I did not want them to perform. There were 50 people in the club. I said, I'm not throwing good money after bad. We are outside discussing it, not outside, but outside of, in like a hallway while the people were in there, and they went ahead and performed. I told him I didn't want them to perform. Okay, I know, but I know there were only 50 people in there, and I know you took a bath, mm -hmm. but isn't it your bath to take? Because it was your money to make. <clears throat> Right? Like it could have been a huge success and you were going to pocket all that money. All you would have had to do is pay the artist. But what happened instead is that you have an event 
and all these people did perform, and then you don't want to pay. Why is that happening? Um, because to say, well, you told them if they came late, they wouldn't perform, and they came late, and I let them perform, but now, gotcha! I'm not I, gonna pay you the other half. That sounds kind of... I did not let them perform. They performed because... While you're in the hallway talking, saying, I got an idea, let's not let them perform? No, no, I told, I told Charles that I do not want to continue this. What time let's of the night did you tell Charles that? This is approximately about quarter to two, where okay. other, the performers... And so these people show up, They've got their stuff, and you expect Charles to walk out and say, you're late, so we're not going to, don't bother. Um, now, were they supposed to be there at 1230? Do, do your emails to them say you need to, everybody needs to be there at 1230 regardless I, I, who I starts? I said you have to be there in between 1230 to 3 o'clock in the morning because the headliner usually shows up late. It's a standard um, procedure. So the first, I had to itemize for the first artist to be there. She performed at 1230. Um, Jai Jin, also Signature. And by the time the headliners came, which were around 230 to 330. These are headliners. So these are the ones that get the bulk of the time. The other artists had about maybe two songs each. I gave them about four songs at the end. And he knew this. What he did All right, was so there's no question that um, the balance of the contract is five thousand dollars, or it's, it's slightly yeah, above well, that, actually, right? Actually, there is because I have an email stating that you sh I show I see, I paid him nine thousand three hundred. I have an email from him that states the total budget was thirteen thousand. Now okay. he's stating that it's fifteen thousand. Okay. Uh, let me see the emails that prove up what you're saying. So what what are you saying you didn't pay? Anybody who wasn't paid, it was approximately 4000 It wasn't 5000 Okay, like so I said, he did left to pay, uh, this is on, what day was the event? The date, the date of the event was December 9th, 2017. Saturday, December 9th, 2017. Okay, so Facebook. at noon, you sent them an email that says there's a uh, balance of 5975 which put the, please put the payments in envelopes paid out to the name on the right of each itemized cost. All artists know that if they do not attend or is not present when it's their time to perform, they will not receive payment. Right. Okay. So uh, when you got this email, if, if that figure was incorrect, why didn't you say something then? I didn't say anything at that time because I wanted to see how the event played out. Okay. <laughs> I see no, paid no, money? I, no, I understand what I'm saying. I'm just see, saying it doesn't matter what the Look, you know, yeah, you set a budget, and then it turns out that you all agree to spend more than the budget because the amount that you're I, paying I didn't people. agree to that. He sent an email said, will do. I just gave him instructions and said, listen, for the other half of the he artist. He sent an email that said. I, I, said the, uh, I said, this is the left to pay because. Okay, give me the email where he answers and says, will do. Um, I didn't print it out, but he said. Oh, well, yeah, do. print it out. Find okay, it. So. Because that's like, you know, okay, that's well, your entire okay. case. Where, where You could slam him down with like a slap if you okay. find that email. Okay, well. Oh, uh, no, I, find I, it now. Okay, I don't. Why can't you find it now? He said, well, uh, I'll find it. I'll, uh, yeah, find know. it. Take your time. It's, it's all right. Why don't you save us some time? Did you say will do? No, I didn't. Okay. Did it get ugly that night while you're looking for that? Did it get ugly that yes, night? Yes, it did. Uh, what Mr. happened? Mr. Greg was drinking and almost got into fights. And okay. they let's had talk, a, talk, let's had talk been, about how the artist got mad at you because you weren't paying. That's what I want to talk about. So th yeah, my understanding were, from your answer to the complaint is that it got ugly. Yeah, they, yeah. they, were, they were threatening me. To, what were they uh, saying? Saying that I better pay them. They would wait for me outside. And according to one of these texts from somebody, who's Javon? Javon is the manager of Fresher, so this is what happened. This is what I saved him. Is, is you gave are, me his word. My these, guys even drove him to a working ATM so he can withdraw was, the guys, fund. These guys, so yeah, that was just trying to get out of the place because it was such a hostile environment. They were going right, to duct tape they, him. So they actually drove you to an ATM for you yes, to pay them. Correct. So, and what did you do when you got to the ATM? I told them I didn't have the money. Okay. I, I saved him. They were going to duct tape him. Duct tape them. Yes, you see, you hear how he's what kind talking? of thugs this, are you hiring? This is, this is the music business. This is the, the hip-hop oh, no, no, business. Oh, no, no, that's not the music business. That is these particular people in the music. Okay, do not so, paint everybody so, with that paintbrush. Okay, okay so what the will do email, because uh, um, I got to go through a lot of emails, but this would happen. He actually bought envelopes for a few artists. He actually, what did you say? He bought, he bought envelopes for artists with money, and some was, he bought the envelopes to the event. So that means he got the email. He did. Oh, yeah. So I don't know what the, the will do Well, email. he's looking to see who's on time and who's not. There's, so, but he, he knew what the instructions were. Then have this, you ever seen them duct tape somebody? My, I know they have the capability to do it. That, that's all I'm saying. I saved them. Six guys approached me. They were going to physically assault him. That I pushed night? them away. That night. That's how, this how drastic it got. So let alone not paying the, these artists, you screwed up my reputation. And also you and I could have physically got hurt. That's how serious this issue, issue was. Yeah. 
And then apparently, according to you, they came to your, um, to your place. Yes, at December 11th, which was a Monday, I live in a luxury building on, in Long Island City that How overlooks nice the water. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just stating, I, I was know, fortunate because it has the concierge. These people weren't allowed in. They came in and they asked for me. So they called the concierge, called upstairs and told me such and such is here. I told them I have no dealings with them. After obviously but what he said. But you do have dealings with them. No, well, but no, you don't I said, want well, them up, no, I don't I, blame I, I don't want to have them I don't come want up angry people in my room. Because uh, they, she said they're going to duct tape me. But yet he gives yeah, them Yeah, the people my, who are duct taping you, you're telling them where he lives? Yes. No. No. The well, people who are duct tape out? capable, you're telling them where well, he lives? Ma management knew all his contact information because he has a business card that... That has his home address? That has his business address. His, uh, his home address? No, I, I, uh, I think you gave him his home... You gave the duct tapers the home address. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, uh, the concert promoter um, didn't pay the singers. Does he have to pay them now? Yes, of course they do. Of course he does. Why? Because they sang for him and... and he owns the money. Fair enough, but they did breach the contract by being late. Well, they were late, but they performed their service, so you pay for the service. What do you say? I think that if he wasn't going to pay them, he should have told them ahead of time if they did the work and he let them to believe that that was their job, then they should be paid. You know the weirdest thing? Did anybody tell you you look like Taylor Swift? <laughs> seriously. This is the first time. No, seriously? Yeah, this is the first time. Do you hate your ex-boyfriends? Um, <laughs> no. I'm just curious. Going inside the courtroom. How do you figure you don't have to pay? You tell me. How do you figure you do not have to pay? Now, uh, that night he ended up paying some people. He paid some which people. Which of these people so, did he pay and okay, which can, of them did you, he not? Can you read out the names? Uh, no, what, here's what I'll do. I'll hand it to you okay. and you tell me. Because he paid, he paid some people. Uh, I'll give him that. Thank you. Let's see if we agree on that much. Okay, Ja Jim paid. DJ Will paid. Uh, not paid, not paid, signature paid, L Gunner not paid. Uh. Thank you. Show it to him and let's see if we agree on that much. Who do you say that you paid? I'll just make a check by it. Okay, do you have proof you paid him? Thank you, sir. No, it's a cash transaction. Oh, well, you know, there are such things as receipts. Okay, so then you're all in agreement with what got paid. Were you owed any money or no? Um, you paid yourself first. No, I didn't give any money. The agreement was I was supposed to get a consultation fee up front, which I, which I said I, I'm not going to do that because I was referred by a friend. So I said, let's, let's do a 70, uh, 80, 20, oh, 80, 20 split on everything. The door, the, the liquor, the ticket sales. Okay. And, and I, ne I, got any, I haven't got anything but headaches. That's but you're supposed to get 20% of the door and of, the liquor? Of the door, the liquor sales, and the ticket sales. And you just forewent that. I, you're I not interested. Anything. You just want to get these people paid because it's I, your exactly, reputation because, on the line. Yes, okay, right. so if we're all in agreement on that, what that means is that if I add the figures that weren't crossed out, um, what that totals is 4625 Okay. Okay. And now, did you ever find uh, anything that that said, yeah, no problem? No. I, I, okay, you should have that when you come into court. Um, wow, I'm glad that nobody got duct taped, I can tell you that. Um, and I don't, oh, by the way, you have a counterclaim against him for $5,000 for harassment. Tell me about that. That's because of these people that he stated wanted to duct tape me, he gave, me, gave them my information. Not only did these people show up at my, my building, they threatened to come back with more people, and get, I was receiving phone calls and texts from these people. Because they want to get paid? Mm. Because I didn't pay right. because he stated if they weren't there by the time the show started. Okay. M they weren't Mr. Hilton, paid. Mr. Hilton, you can't be serious. Mm. You can't be serious that you think if everyone's not there at 1230, they don't get paid. People are staggered artists. That means somebody starts, then somebody comes after that, then somebody comes after that, then somebody comes after that. What happened to you is that the door didn't come through. There weren't enough people there to make it worth your while and you're trying to cut your losses. But you're cheating them to cut your losses and I'm not gonna tolerate it. You still owed an additional $4,625 on this. That's why people are trying to collect, okay? Because they're owed the money. So pay the man so he can pay the artist what you promised you would pay them. And take the bath yourself. Don't try to pass it along. $4,625 verdict for the plaintiff.
So the plaintiff prevails. He gets $4,600. Mr. Hilton, the defendant's just come out. You heard the judge. She said you're just trying to cheat people. No, I don't feel I was trying to cheat people. He had in writing to the artist that they were supposed to be there at a certain time. By the way, a lot of talk about duct taping. What, were you worried about that? Yes, I was. And what would they have done? Duct taping, kidnapping, murder perhaps. But yet I get nothing for harassment with that? No, no. That, well, no, I, obviously not, you, but I don't happened. think that's you fair. Didn't, you, didn't, you didn't get duct taped. How would I have been compensated if I did? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you very much. How, by the way, how many people did you want to show up? Only 50. What, what would have been a good house for you? We were anticipating, from what I was told by Mr. Gregg, uh, over 500. Oh, wow. Big yes. difference. Yeah, obviously. No wonder you took a bath. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. All okay. Right. All right, Mr. Gregg. How come you couldn't get 500 people to show up? Um, well, the guy wanted me to promote a show within a month. Yeah. And standard promotion procedure for any show, you promote for, you kept for about that, three months three to months six months. Three months to six months. So, you know, um, he wanted to rush. He's new to the industry. He's, yeah. in, he's in finance. But um, the music business, I know. And also, yeah. it's in, in the hip-hop industry, is a tough crowd. So he got his, his life was on the line. I saved that. And also, I tarnished a lot of my relationships. Let me ask you a quick question. Duct taped. What would they have done? What does oh, that mean? I Tell them, me. That means you get duct taped, you get put in a corner until you pay. <laughs> okay. It's, 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 it's like it's, what we see on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes even worse. The reality of it, you know. TV, okay. TV is TV. You're not kidding. I, exactly. I'm not. Okay. But I, I saved his life and saved my life. I just wanted to do it the right way, the legal way. Sounds like a rough business. It really is. Well, congratulations. Well, you won. Well, okay. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. Very good. Harvey, what do you think? I mean, you know, Doug, sometimes the literal words of a contract are not the be-all and end-all. Since the singers in this case were staggered, they didn't really all have to show up on time. They still could have performed. So the judge made common sense out of the contract.